So this video is on the community of Forest Glade in Windsor, Ontario. So right here on your map is Forest Glade. If you're looking to move to the Windsor area, this might be a good spot for you. We're going to go over the best schools and the worst schools in the area. We're going to go over how much housing costs in the area. And just general, what is it like to live in in Forest Glade should you invest in this area and buy a house for you and your family in this area. That's all on the way. My name is Ryan. I'm a real estate appraiser and real estate agent in the Windsor, Ontario region. I help people buy houses in this area and sell houses in this area. It's literally all I do all day long, every day. Um, feel free to give me a call if you're looking to move to the area. That's my phone number on the screen right there. Let's go. So like I said, Forest Glade is located right here. It's in Windsor's East End, and it's a pretty good area. It's bordered by Lausanne Parkway right here, Tecumseh Road right here. The more expensive neighborhood of Tecumseh is right over here by Banwell. And then this is the expressway right here that can shoot you east to west across our, our county. Here's the thing about Forest Glade. There's like two areas. There's like the lower half of Forest Glade, and then there's the upper half of Forest Glade. I'll tell you right now, the lower half is nicer. In the upper half, you're going to find a little bit more affordable uh, semi-detached and townhome houses, as well as some rental areas that are, are lower income. But down in the south, you get a lot of uh, detached family homes built in the 60s, 70s, and 80s on quiet tree-lined street. You can have a really nice life living in these, uh, in these homes. Right in the middle of Forest Glade is this community center and park right here. This is like the hub of Forest Glade. Everything's here. They have a community center. They have a hockey rink. They have a, uh, they play lacrosse there as well. They just spent like $2.2 million to redo the basketball courts and the tennis courts and pickleball courts. Uh, they got a skate park there. They got a splash pad. They got, uh, what else? I think soccer fields and baseball diamonds, there's more I'm forgetting. It is a massive, giant piece of Forest Glade, and the community kind of revolves around this park and community center right there. Also, uh, just ahead of that, up here a little further north, is this plaza. Uh, this has a lot of really good restaurants that people like, including Parks and Rec, which is a really nice uh, bar grill restaurant in the area. Great food. There's also an Italian restaurant there and a few other things in that little plaza. So everything else you need is going to be just outside of Forest Glade. So uh, grocery stores, like here's Food Basics, here's Zares over here, you got Walmart right there, you got $2 stores, you got Shoppers Drug Mart, you got um, uh, Home Hardware, or Home Depot rather, uh, Starbucks, and lots of fast food restaurants all around here as well. Like everything that you need for day-to-day -day living is within a five-minute drive, probably less to be honest with you of where you're going to live in Forest Glade. So it's a pretty good spot that way. Also, right below it, like we mentioned, this is the expressway right here. So you can go anywhere in this entire county, out to Bell River, and then all the way out to LaSalle, or even further out to Amherstburg, uh, just by hopping on this expressway. Okay, so let's talk housing costs in Forest Glade, and then we're going to talk about schools and parks, okay? So let's go from cheap to expensive. So the most affordable housing in Forest Glade, like I said, is located in the northern half up here. You're going to find a lot of semi-detached homes that look like this. This is a big box, okay? So it's not, it doesn't have a ton of curb appeal. But that being said, for a pretty affordable price, they're three-bedroom homes and they're not small bedrooms. Like they're a really good size. So if you're in this price range, like right around that 400000 or maybe even a little bit lower, this is a place where you can go and you can get yourself into something that is three solid bedrooms, a living room, dining room, kitchen, and a finished basement. Like there's a lot of space in these. And uh, here's another one that's sold. They're all sort of the same. Some of them are a different shape, but they're mostly semi-detached homes. You will find some detached homes in the area as well. Elsewhere in Forest Glade, you can get backsplit homes like this one. So this was listed for $500,000 and it sold for $550,000 or right around there. That's a pretty good deal. Like I hesitate to tell you that because the market is heating up and I feel like that's going to be more expensive very soon. But that sold around that $550,000 mark. Here's another example right here. Uh, this one has no garage. It was listed at 550 and sold around 600 and they put a lot of work into this to make it absolutely beautiful on the inside. So it's sold a little bit more with no garage. 
Okay, and then so over here on this side of Forest Glade and then down here in the corner, uh, you get things that are a little bit more newer than the rest of Forest Glade. Like I said, most of Forest Glade is like 60s, 70s, and maybe a bit of 80s. These are like 2000s or newer. So this one here uh, was listed for 580 and it sold about 100 k over the asking price, so around $680,000. Here's another one. This guy sold for over $700,000, and this one here was only five years old, and it sold around the $900,000 mark. And that is pretty much where Forest Glade tops out. You're inching up towards a million on those new ones over to the right. I'm trying to picture the map. On the right. <laughs> um, uh, but it typically doesn't get more than that. Okay, let's talk about parks real quick, and then we'll get to uh, get to the schools. So I already mentioned, like, the main park is this giant thing, community center in the middle of Forest Glade. That has most stuff you and your kids will ever need. Aside from that, there's not a ton of parks. It's mostly just schoolyard playgrounds. Uh, so they've got uh, a bunch of schools in Forest Glade, and as you know... A school will have basketball courts and they'll have a baseball diamond and soccer fields and a kid's playground. So people will usually just go to there for the park. However, as you can see from this map, there are a few other parks like Wildwood Park right here. And you know what? They got uh, Little River Golf as well. So there's a, a nine-hole golf course right here. It's owned by the city, so it's pretty affordable. And like I said, it's only nine holes, but that's right here located in Forest Glade. Okay, let's get to the schools because this is rather important, okay? We're going to talk elementary schools here. So, if you're in Forest Glade, there's two public board schools and two Catholic board schools. We'll start with the public board. Eastview Horizons Public School. It's located right down here in the corner, uh, and it's rated one of the highest in the area, 6.8 from the Fraser Institute. So that's a little over average. Students at this school perform just over average at the uh, at, at province-wide testing. So here's the boundaries. As you can see, most of Forest Glade will be going to this school for JK to grade 8 in the English Public Board program. Okay, so even if you live up here where I said there's like uh, cheaper homes for just under $400,000, those semis, you'll be going here as well. And this is one of the highest rated schools in the Forest Glade area. The other public board school is Forest Glade Public School. Not as good, okay? So it's located up here. It has a 4.5 rating from the Fraser Institute, so below average. This board also offers French immersion. So if you look at the boundaries right here, the purple you see is English program, JK to grade 8, and then the green boundary is the French immersion program, which is also JK to grade 8. So for Catholic board schools, uh, L.A. Damaris is where we're going to start. So that's located right here on your map. So it's right behind those newer homes that will sell for like eight to 900K. The boundaries here cover all of this. Uh, so you would, uh, so all the way up into East Riverside and then down here a bit into Forest Glade. The rating from the Fraser Institute is 6.3 out of 10, which is essentially average. Uh, the other Catholic school is over here. Okay, so this right here is H.J. Lasseline. It's right beside that first public board school we mentioned. It's a bit worse. 5.8 rating from the Fraser Institute, which is just below average. Uh, it's located down here in the corner, like I said. Here's the boundary for it. So just this little one half of Forest Glade would be going to this school if you're in the Catholic board program. So that is Forest Glade in a nutshell. I think it's a pretty good area. For um, five to 600000 you can get yourself a good amount of space, a uh, bi-level home or a back split or something with a garage that, that you might not get in other parts of Windsor that might cost a little bit more money. Riverside up here, I would still say, is probably a little bit more sought after than, than Forest Glade, but I don't want to knock Forest Glade by any means. I think that you can have a really nice life in a safe, quiet area living in Forest Glade. If you need more information or you want to know more about how much homes cost, feel free to give me a call. That's my phone number on the screen. Um, you can call me anytime, shoot me a text. I get reach outs from YouTube constantly, okay? Uh, thanks for watching.